so we will move to our next section which is the welding symbols welding symbols are shorthand language for the welder they save time and money and serve to ensure understanding and accuracy welding symbols have been standardized by american welding society aws the use of welding symbols enables a designer to indicate clearly to the welder important details and detailed information regarding the weld the information in the welding symbol can include the following details for instance the weld length the depth of penetration the height of reinforcement the groove type groove dimension location process filler material strength number of welds weld shape surface finishing etc all of this information would normally be included on the welding assembly drawings the welding symbols consist of a reference line as you can see in the figure a leader and a tail a tail is added to the basic symbol as necessary for the placement of specific information and the leader line basically indicates uh, the position of the weld here in the second figure you can see uh, different uh, tails and different tails have different process specifications etc here is a brief introduction to various types of symbols which are used in welding the figure shows some basic components of welding symbols consisting of a reference line with an arrow on one end other information related to various feature of the weld is shown by symbols abbreviations and figure located around the reference line a tail is added to the basic symbol as necessary for the placement of specific information in the case of fillet and groove welding symbols the arrow connects the welding symbol reference line to one side of the joint if the weld is to be deposited on the arrow side of the joint near side then proper welding symbol is placed below the reference line and if the weld is to be deposited on the other side of the joint far side then the welding symbol is placed above the reference line while you can see that if the fillet is present on both sides then the arrow is also present or uh, and with the triangle on both sides of the uh, reference line there are different welding symbols for different types of weld weld types uh, and their symbols can be classified as fillets grooves flange plug or slot spot or projection seam back or backing and surfacing each type of weld has a specific symbol that is used on drawing to indicate the weld a fillet weld for example is designated by a right triangle whereas a plug weld is indicated by a rectangle you can also see another symbol a field weld which is highlighted in a blue circle a field weld is defined by american welding society aws as a weld made at a location other than the shop or the place of initial construction the field weld symbol consists of a flag that is placed at the intersection where the end of the reference line meets the arrow additionally the weld surface can be contoured so after welding either the weld bit looks like a concave shape or a convex shape or perhaps it should be grinded to make it a flush or it could be flattened so based on the type of uh, weld bit and the surface characteristics we can define weld surface contour so fillet weld can either be on one side or both side and they can have either equal legs or unequal legs as we have seen in the joint terminologies however if we want to do a single uh, fillet welding on one side then it can be shown in figure 22.20a dimension of fillet welds are shown on the same side of the reference line as the weld symbol and are shown on the left of the symbol this can also be observed in figure 22.20a when both sides of joint have the same fillet welds they are dimensioned as shown in figure 22.20b when both sides of joint have different size fillet welds then both of them are dimensioned on both sides and they are can be seen in figure 22.20 
20 to point 20 C. The size of filler weld with unequal legs is shown in the parenthesis to the left of the weld symbol as shown in figure 22.20D. The length of a filler weld when indicated on the welding symbol is shown to the right of the welding symbol which can be shown in figure 22.20E. So these were all about welding symbols for fillet welding. We need to move to our uh, next section which is intermittent fillet welding. Basically intermittent fillet welding is basically used to strengthen the joint and to produce a relaxation, stress relaxation. In intermittent uh, fillet welds, the length and the pitch increments are placed to the right of the weld symbol. So here you can see in the figure and just below figure 22.21 there is another figure and you can see the pitch uh, and the length both are placed to the right of the uh, triangle. The first number uh, which is the 6 represents the length of the weld and the second number represents the pitch or the distance between the centers of the two weld. Intermittent uh, welds can be used to reduce the amount of welding as well, the amount of welding material, possibly reduce welding distortion and prevent cracks from spreading. It is easier to crack for a crack to propagate through a continuous weld than it is on an intermittent weld where it has the re to it has to restart at the beginning of each weld as you can see in figure 22.22 which is this uh, intermittent weld example so this was the end of uh, welding symbols